smart embedded objects such as sensors and actuators will become an important part of what is called the Internet of Things. Using standard protocol, it has now become possible to deploy a wireless sensor and actuator network and interconnect it with IP version 6 Internet. However, a real web break, a, way, a real breakthrough of the Internet of Things can only be realized if it becomes sufficiently easy to build the Internet of Things services in a similar way that it's now easy to build the web of services. To achieve this, it should become possible to discover sensors and their resources very easy. In this part of a Spitfire demo, we show how sensors are discovered automatically and how their resources are added to a resource directory where a user can select which resource he wants to see. He can select also what type of thing he wants to do on the resource. He just read, wants to read it once or more than uh, once. And he can also select what to do with the information. For example, he can select that the data should be sent to a, as an SMS. The reply should then be an SMS or it should be sent to a Twitter page or it should be just sent to the screen. And again, this can be done only once by selecting get or it can be done whenever there is a change to the resource. For example, whenever there is a temperature change in the room, the user should be notified. And also, last but not least, he can also define which condition should be achieved before he is notified. For example, he, he is not interested in all temperature changes, but he is interested only if there is a change of more than five degrees in the temperature, then uh, the user should be notified.